This is the Pythonic Accountant, and what I have for you today is an excellent paper by Dr. Ethan Mollock and Dr. Lilach Mollock. They wrote a paper called Instructors as Innovators, a Future-Focused Approach to New AI Learning Opportunities with Prompts, and we're going to take a look at how AI can be used to help teach accounting using some of their methods. So I'm not going to go into detail in this paper, but it shows how instructors can use Gen AI to create personalized learning experiences. And it has several really, really well-crafted prompts that you can give to the generative AI for it to help you. So we're going to actually go through this one, critique the AI, illustrating a concept through a story. And I've actually created uh, a specific GPT based on that prompt that I've modified to focus on internal controls simulator. So the prompt is in the back end that powers this tool here and this is uh, publicly accessible so i can i'll publish the link to this so if you have a uh, chat gpt you may have to have the pro version but you can subscribe uh, if you aren't already and then um, access this internal control issues simulator so i'm going to go ahead and click let's do this to get started and what it's going to do is it's going to say hey i'm your ai assistant ready to help you with the concept of internal control weaknesses through a story Choose a scenario and I'll create a scene. All right, let's do payroll, why not? So I responded with payroll and now it's gonna continue on following its instructions to give me a scene. So, and this one changes every time. It's kind of fun how it just creates it. So this is like something you could do in a book, but it's interactive and it guides you through the process of kind of figuring things out. Um, so let's go and see. We've got Sarah, the payroll manager, Jake, the payroll clerk, Tom, the employee, and Emma, the internal auditor. We've got uh, Sarah and Jake talking about handling payroll. Jake says, I got it covered. Sarah goes, Jake's been reliable, but I hope he follows the proper steps. Uh-oh, foreshadowing here. <laughs> Tom says, hey, Jake, can you adjust my overtime hours? I worked an extra 10, but it didn't get recorded. Jake goes ahead and records it. And then Jake said, I probably should get Sarah to approve it, but I'll just do it anyway to save time. Jake makes the adjustment. Tom says, thanks. And Emma, during an audit, says, hey, I'm reviewing the payroll records and noticed several uh, adjustments made without authorization. Can you explain? And then Sarah says, oh, must be Jake. I told him to handle payroll this week, but I didn't specify that he needed my approval. Emma goes, this is a clear internal control weakness. There's a lack of segregation of duties and proper authorization. How does this illustrate the concept of internal control weaknesses? Well, um, let's see, Jake should have followed procedures, both a lack of segregation of duties is clearly a problem, but also lack uh, of training. And it seems I would also say um, Sarah should have been clear about the rules and how important they are. Let's see what uh, AI says about this. Exactly, I've identified several key points. So lack of segregation of duties, inadequate training, weak policies, procedures. Anything else you noticed? No, anything I should. And let's see if there's anything else. I covered the main points, but um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, pretty cool. So that's, that's what I have for you today. There's quite a few other simulators we can create uh, but this one, even of itself, I think is really powerful as a teaching tool that could be used in high school or college. Um, and for students that are learning accounting, specifically in this one, focusing on learning the importance of internal controls, really neat simulation-based way to learn. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and follow, and we'll see you at the next one.